Abu Yusuf from Saudi Arabia, he is telling about an issue that is reoccurring so many times. And unfortunately, I get tens, let me rephrase that, I get hundreds of questions a week on such issues. The boy loves a girl, or he doesn't love a girl. The boy is 25 years of age. He's young, he's fit, he's healthy. There's so many temptations out there. And he goes to mom and dad, please help me. I have to get married. And they say, no, 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 not, it's not yet a time for you. Your elder sister is not married yet. Give it a couple of years more or three years maybe until when, when you finish 30. And the boy says, this is too much. I will fall into sin. I will fall into haram. And they could care less. So he speaks to his mom, mom, I'd like to marry such a, a, a so-and-so girl. She's a sister of my friend. And she says no, and she curses him. He goes to his father, and he only finds the same treatment. And he curses him. And they all say, we have nothing to do with your marriage. Not only that, if you get married, we will not talk to you. We'll discommunicate with you. We will boycott you. We will not look at you or at your wife or at your children. And we'll curse you day and night. Well, sad news is most of the boys could care less because the father and the mother are transgressing against their son. They're committing a major sin when they stop him from marrying. They said, no, we paid for his education. Yes, but you did not enslave him. He must marry the woman we choose for him. Wrong. He does, he's not obliged to marry whomever you choose for him. If the father says, no, he has to marry the woman I choose for him. Akhi, you want him to marry such a girl? You go ahead and marry her. Let him choose. He's the one who's going to live with her for the rest of his life. You don't get to choose for him. And it's none of your business as a father or as a mother to control your son's life like this. Then I will curse him. Akhi, curse him from here till the day of judgment. It would not even reach the lower heaven because you are zalim. You are committing an act of transgression. It's like saying, I don't like him to drink soft drinks that has cola in it. Only uh, uh, Fanta or 7-Up. It's none of your business. This is his preference. He drinks whatever he wants. He marries whomever he wants. He's a man. He doesn't need your approval or consent. But out of respect and being dutiful, he is trying to put some sense into your heads. Usually, such parents would not bend they would continue to be stiff and not willing to compromise till their death. Sad news, but unfortunately, there are parents who are so abusive like this, and even worse. Such parents have horrible life. The mother was treated by her husband in a similar way when she was young. She was enslaved by her in-laws. And now she wants to do the same to her daughter-in-law. She wants someone to be her slave and to cook and clean. This is why she refuses the boy to marry someone of his own choice. And all of this zulm is reoccurring and reborn uh, uh, over and over again. Well, these people will be punished on the Day of Judgment. As for you, my friend, you see someone you like, She's righteous, practicing from a good family. Your parents don't want or don't accept you marrying anyone unless they choose for you. In this case, you are not a renegade. You are not a rebel. You are a human being choosing your spouse that you will live with for the rest of your life. Let them curse. Let them say whatever they want. Allah will not hear them. Allah, Allah would not look at them. 
for their transgression. Now, you be diplomatic. Don't confront them. Don't go head on. Try to be diplomatic, dutiful. Keep on calling them even after years and years of boycotting you. But you have to remember that they are your parents and your gateway to paradise. They're wrong. They're transgressing. They're sinful without any question. But again, this does not give you the justification or the reason to boycott them in exchange and not to talk to them. No. Keep trying your level best, maybe dua in your sujood that Allah softens their heart. But at the end of the day, go and get married and don't look back.